here in the blue singlet, Kale Hughes of Oklahoma. He was your champion in freestyle, taking on Ray Ray Harris of California. I do not believe that Harris placed in freestyle. Uh, these two certainly did not meet in freestyle. They did, however, meet at 16U National Duels, and Hughes won that one 12 to 1. However, we did just see a uh, result get reversed from an earlier match. Always fun to see guys double up, and for young Mr. Harris, <laughs> always fun to uh, keep a guy from doubling up. Riri Harris will be a sophomore at Buchanan High School. Buchanan, you know, Buchanan, they don't necessarily do a lot of freestyle in Greco. And Harris going to get uh, his first opportunity on top here. He's down 1 0, 53 seconds remaining in this first period. So far, all three matches, including the U20, or both matches, including the U23 match, there's been turns, and there's a turn there. So a 3-0 lead for Harris. Make that 5-0. Needs to get to 10. So 23 seconds on top there for Harris, and two turns, a 5-0 lead. Hughes looking for a throw, nothing coming of it. Was in front head position. As I mentioned, Harris will be a sophomore at Buchanan High School. Big headlock! That might do it. 9-0. Short time, can Hughes fight off his back? And now Hughes gonna get the late reversal. So nine to one, but man, Ray Ray Harris. Man, you tech a guy 12-1 at the duels, you think, I got this. Well, Ray Ray Harris comes out and makes it 9-1 in the first period. Well, Ray Ray Harris going to Buchanan, too. Buchanan. I was just saying that. They don't often do freestyle and Greco. They're starting to do it more, which I love. Great. Number one. Number two, Buchanan just keeps, like, reloading. Listen, there's going to be wars out there. In California, you know Clovis is always going to be good, but Buchanan and what they have coming through their system. I mean, they have they had Kyler Lake, who was JV for them last year. <laughs> Kyler Lake couldn't break the lineup. He beat Joey Cruz in a match this year when he got in the lineup. And he was beating ranked guys out here. That's how deep they are. And you got, you know, guys like Ray Ray Harris coming in. And also watch for Gilroy. What... Daniel Cormier and staff are doing out there at Gilroy. They have all these little monsters coming up. Absolutely. Uh, Hughes is going to be a freshman at Stillwater High School and looking at a. No, they're going to say two there. I thought they were, I thought the ref indicated a slip there. So 9 3. Hughes was able to close out his freestyle final with a tech. Make that 9. Oh, he didn't go through actually. Now, you mentioned the last match, U15, full of hammers. Hughes trying to double up here, right? Trying to win both styles in Fargo. Third at U15s and freestyle, and fourth in Greco. That's, U15s are phenomenal. Right, I mean, we saw Antrell Taylor. If, if there's a good correlation between the guys that went to U15s and the guys that did well here. The first well year here. cadets, yeah, you yeah. did well here, yeah. Final minute of this first period here. Now, uh, Hughes got put down in the first. I don't know if we're going to see either of these guys get put down in the second. Lefty underhook here for Harris, who is holding center very well. And trying to go hip toss is Hughes. Body lock. Harris can finish it off here. Not going to be able to get the four. They're going to go leg foul there. Nope. He's going to finish it off. I thought it. I thought I saw a leg foul. I thought I saw a leg foul on the first one. The first attempt, but. However, doesn't matter. Ray Ray Harris 
your national champ 13-3. Well, yeah, there's the, the brick. Well, they look at that. Ray Ray Harris. It's three wins to get here. 11-4 over James Armstrong of Arizona. 12-5 over Christopher Martino of Idaho. And a 19-second pin over DJ Gillette of Oregon in the semis. Yeah, you know, looking through this, Nomad, I don't think there's anybody in contention for the Triple Crown. So Ray Ray Harris did go through, and he is your national champion. There's several that can double up. The only one that's in contention for Triple Crown is Coppice.